Tonight's game is brought to you by First Robinson Cities Alone, Davis Tire and Auto Service, Kemper CPA Group, Loyal Learn the Moose, Robinson IGA Food Center, Hardee's, Crawford Memorial Hospital, Rago Printing, American Legion EM Kohler Post 69 in Robinson, M&M Exhaust, Crawford County State Bank, Pull-In Funeral Homes, Rural King Supply, Leaf Incorporated in Robinson, Robinson IGA Branch of the First National Bank of Oblong, Charlie Incorporated, Wabash Cablevision, and Worldwide Sound and Video Productions. We're with Lawrenceville head coach Brian Stillwell. Coach Stillwell, you're coming off a tough loss to St. Anthony last week. You've got a team that is pretty similar to yours to play tonight. Um, I guess the question is, are you prepared? Well, we hope we are. We, we've uh, had some time off since the St. Anthony game of last Tuesday to uh, try to get ready for Robinson. Uh, you know, they're doing a lot of good things. They have two, uh, actually three real quality players, big time players uh, at the high school level. And I think that shows with their statistics. Um, and then they have a good supporting cast and kids that understand their role and know what to do. Uh, uh, it's proven pretty good for them so far with a lot of victories. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll just try to compete. I know um, the b two ball clubs, a lot of similarities. You've worked to get uh, some production out of your guard play. Uh, I know you try to work the ball inside, and uh, as Robinson has found out, if you get into foul trouble on the inside, you've got to get the guys working on the outside. Yes, sir, that's right. Uh, a lot of times we feel, though, that if we can get some things happening on the inside, it, it uh, frees our kids up on the perimeter, uh, maybe where they don't feel the pressure of knocking down shots. It just comes more natural, and also the more we can uh, move the ball from inside to outside and around. Uh, we feel that somewhere along the way, we'll hopefully the defense will break down and we'll get a, a high percentage shot. The losses you've had this year have been some toughies. A couple of overtime losses. Uh, I know you'd like to be in the conference uh, under control, but right now the season's proved to be just a little bit on the tough side for you. Yes, sir. It's, it seems like uh, we make it to the fourth quarter and, and we have some stumbling blocks. Uh, I would say throughout uh, you know, the losses we've had, I think four of the losses have come to uh, AA opponents, uh, you know, with Vincent's Lincoln and Bossy being considered the same. Uh, you know, it's 54-52 playing Lincoln at Lincoln. Fourth quarter comes in and, uh, you know, we, we kind of fall by the wayside. But hopefully we can, if we can win one of those games and the kids can gain some confidence from that and learn that, uh, you know, it's just a matter of what you do in a tight situation, how you're going to handle each possession, and not that you're, you're holding the ball, but uh, make good decisions with the basketball because that's the most precious thing on the floor. Uh, there are ten guys that want it, and uh, you know there's five guys on one side that want it also, but uh, hopefully we can make some adjustments and uh, get some kids to step up. Uh, we've lost a few games that were close, and uh, you know we've got a lot of conference games after this that uh, it's not going to get easy for us. We have a lot of, a lot of tough competition coming ahead. Although this isn't a conference game, this can be a big turnaround game for you to get you over the hump. <clears throat> yes, sir. I, I didn't realize I was talking to one of the kids. Uh, last year when we, um, we came back out of the, the holiday tournament, we won against Newton and uh, Red Hill here. And then we had a big game at Flora. And, you know, that was one of those down to the last minute, uh, last seconds, actually. And, uh, you know, if that would have went the other way, I wonder how our season would have came out then. So maybe if we can get one of those put together or get a big win under our belt like uh, against a quality opponent like Robinson, uh, maybe we can turn the corner and, and go into the rest of the conference season uh, at least getting better. That you know, Winning and losing are how a lot of people gauge success, but I just want to see us play better. And if a team beats us and, and we're playing well and we make good decisions, uh, we'll just try to do the best we can. That's all we can do. Coach, I want to wish you luck in tonight's ball game. I know it ought to be a good one. Uh, there's always that rivalry between Lawrenceville and Robinson. So uh, good luck tonight. Good luck in the future. Thank you. Thanks for spending some time with us. I'm going to bring in Robinson head coach Jeff Barker now. Uh, give you equal time, Jeff. I've been talking to Coach Stillwell. Uh, he says this is going to be a big game for him. Uh, this could be a big turnaround game for him. So they're going to be working hard for the victory. Yeah, you know, uh, it's a big game for both teams because of the rivalry and because of the regional coming up. But, you know, we've been telling our kids, this is one game in a long season, and one game doesn't make or break your season. The whole season as you practice and you play and you work together makes the season. Coming out of the Carmi tournament, you had some bright spots down there. Uh, even though you wound up in third place, you played some good basketball. Take away that one half against Harrisburg, and you guys were rolling pretty well. 
yeah, in that half, you know, you could have hindsight and look back and do a lot of things different. We got to where we were by, by playing hard, playing uh, up-tempo basketball, and, and uh, we had a few players step up and do, do a real good job. And uh, we just t took some quick shots and uh, quit playing defense for a little short period, and then they got a run, and it took us a long time to get it stopped. But you're right, we had several bright spots at, at uh, Carmi, ended up third, and with the kids knowing once again that we could have been the team in the title game and maybe winning it. So that's, that's good confidence for down the road. Well, that's good competition down there. You had some quality ball clubs. Uh, one of the bright spots had to be Cody Dunlap coming out of a slump and uh, scoring some points. Yeah, Cody did a heck of a job shooting the basketball um, for the most part. And uh, I tell you, when he takes open shots and when he takes those good shots, you just know they're going to go in. And he is a great part of our team that, that we really need. And, and, you know, one part that's overlooked about him is a lot is his defensive effort and he usually guards the best player from the other team and usually holds him down pretty well so we're real proud of what he's done for us in his senior year well he plays good defense he's a good rebounder he knows how to get positioned underneath uh, the thing that uh, Lawrenceville has had some problems with this year and you have too has been production from the outside and uh, that's what you need to open that inside up because both both teams here tonight like to go to that big man inside. Yeah, well, we'll you know, we haven't had a whole lot of points from, from our guards, but the thing that we are getting from them is better better ball handling and better defense every night. And, and that's the thing that we ask from them. And, and I, we think that they're doing a super job for what we're asking them to do. And uh, we're, get, we're getting a lot of mileage out of them. Coach, thanks a lot for spending some time with us. Good luck in tonight's ball game. It ought to be dandy. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we'll be back with a tip-off soon. Well, I'd like to thank again both coaches for their interviews tonight. Head coach uh, Brian Stilwell, the Lawrenceville Indians, and head coach from the Robinson Maroons, Jeff Barker. Ought to be a good ball game, Dwayne. These two ball clubs, whenever they meet, usually wind up in, uh, in a tough contest. Yeah, unfortunately, the uh, probably the winner will be the, the team who keeps his center in the game the longest period of time. I imagine the games we've seen lately, uh, both centers have had a tendency to get in a little bit of foul trouble, and uh, their effectiveness uh, suffers accordingly. Well, and looking at that and size-wise, why the Maroons may have a little bit of an advantage in depth there uh, between Bruce Hardeman, who will probably start at forward, and then with Aaron Shry coming off the bench, there's two pretty good-sized guys. Both of them are capable of scoring. One of the sponsors of tonight's ball game is Crawford Memorial Hospital, and they're pleased to announce bi-monthly urology services provided by Roger Reeves, MD. Dr. Reeves has practiced in the Mattoon Charleston area for over 14 years, and he's certified by the American Board of Urology and specializes in adult and pediatric urology. Dr. Reeves is now accepting patients at CMH's consulting clinic. Call him at 618-546-1234 at extension 2290. Crawford Memorial Hospital, working toward a healthier tomorrow. One thing uh, we might point out as they get ready to give the starting lineups here tonight, this ball game is going to be shown in both the areas in Lawrence County through Wabash Cablevision and also up in the Crawford County area through Triax Cablevision. So we've got to be careful tonight, Dwayne. <laughs> Okay, the visiting Robinson Maroons uh, were coming out with their lineup pretty much as we've seen uh, most of the season with Corey Pritchard and Ryan Bryant at guards, forwards Bruce Hardeman and Cody Dunlap, and center Matt Parker. I think their record is 12 and 5. We didn't verify that earlier, but as we counted up, I think they're 12 and 5 coming into the nice game. Starting three seniors and two juniors. And they will line up six, 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 three, six, two, six foot, and six foot. A little bit of size advantage. Uh, Robinson carries over to Lawrenceville, but not a great deal. There's six foot senior Corey Pritchard, number 20, at one guard spot. The other guard will be number 40, Ryan Bryant, six foot senior. 
He's coming down the roster as represented in the program. So that's forward Cody Dunlap, number 24, 6'2", senior. 34, Bruce Hardeman, a 6'3", junior at the other forward spot. Ryan Bryant, as I said, number 40, six foot senior at the other guard spot. And Matt Parker, number 42, a 6'6", junior in the middle. Coached by Jeff Parker. Lawrenceville uh, comes in in tonight's game at nine and six. They've had a week off since they lost to St. Anthony at St. Anthony. We did that game, Jim. It was a pretty good ball game. Pretty much the same uh, type of ball game that Robinson faced against St. Anthony earlier in the year. Yeah, I think we might point out that uh, has St. Anthony lost on their home floor? Probably not. It probably <laughs> never will. Lawrenceville starts number three, uh, Brian Davis, a 5'8", senior one guard spot. Ryan Hammer, number 25, a 6'2", senior at the other guard spot. Kurt Benson, number 14, a 5'10", junior at one forward. Now we're going to get Matt uh, Moorhead, number 54, a 6'5", junior in the middle. Number 44, Mark Dennison, 6'2", junior one forward and as I said Kurt Benson number 14 a 510 junior so they go with two seniors and three juniors line up six five six two six two five ten and five eight one thing about the Indians we saw over at St. Anthony uh, with Matt Moorhead getting in trouble Mark Dennison moved inside and played a really good ball game and we talk about St. Anthony uh, uh, have a couple of 6'6 six, six guys in there. They've got plenty of size to put on the floor. So Lawrenceville can match up against a bigger ball club pretty good. Uh, they certainly need Matt in there as much as possible. Yeah, Moorhead fouled out with 12 points in that game. Did not score in the fourth quarter. I don't think he played, but maybe a couple of minutes in that fourth quarter. He set out a good part of the third quarter as well. The Maroons coming off a uh, tournament down in Carmine. Uh, played very well with the exception of one half we talked about earlier against uh, Harrisburg where they got beat. One of the things that uh, Robinson did that they've, they've not done this year very much and that's got some scoring out of uh, Cody Dunlap who kind of broke out of a slump, scored 18 points a couple of times in the uh, ball games down there and that's something Robinson needed, uh, something to open up the outside a little bit. Well, we're set to go. It'll be Bruce Hardeman and Matt Moorhead in the center circle getting ready to tip it off. And we're underway here in Lawrenceville. The Indians control the tip. And it's Brian Davis working outside. Corey Pritchard on him. Ryan Hammer now on the wing. Knocks it outside. Cody Dunlap, good defensive ball player, gets a hand on it. Dennison brings it back, bounces it in the corner to Kurt Benson, and Benson puts it through. And Lawrenceville jumps out in front two to nothing. Dunlap works in the corner. Hammer on him. Both teams with man-to-man -man defense. There's Hardeman. And that's the move. He can go inside strong. So Bruce quickly ties it up here. Davis works it out front. Dennison underneath. Uh, back to Ryan Hammer in the paint. Ryan puts it through. 4-2 Lawrenceville. Full court pressure now. The Indians can play a lot of defense. And they lost, they forced that turnover back to the Indians. Up and in. Ryan Hammer again. Five or six to the score now. Two quick baskets by the Indians. The Maroons get it across the line now. They'll kind of take control and set the offense. Ryan Brand will be out front to set it up. Corey Pritchard. Davis on him. Bryant. And outside to Hardeman. Dennison is going to be playing Hardeman tonight underneath. That's Matt Parker outside. They go into Bruce, forces his way in a little bit, comes up short. Parker puts it back up and scores Matt Parker. That's what the Maroons are going to try to do tonight, go inside. Hammer with it outside. Six to four. The Indians out in front by two, just underway. Nice pass underneath. Dennison to Moorhead and the bucket. 8-4, Lawrenceville. Bryant on the wing, drives against Benson, and Benson's going to be called for a foul. That's the first one tonight. It's his first personal and first team foul. For office supplies, office furniture, and professional printing, see Rago Printing Incorporated at 1727 12th Street here in Lawrenceville. 
You can call Rago Printing at 943-6444 or at 800-841-3148. For all your office needs, Rago's have done professional printing since 1965. Indians changed their defense and do a 1-2-2 or a 3-2. I can't really tell for sure. Dunlap with it outside. Maroons again into Parker. That turnaround, and it falls through. Matt Parker. 8-6 the score. Indians out in front. We got a foul on Ryan Bryant. Hammer put the ball on the floor, went around Ryan. A little bit of frustration. Uh, Bryant reached and fouled. The Indians will have it. Brinson will toss it in. 8-6, Lawrenceville. Hammer works against Bryant again. Ryan tries to fake. He's in the paint. Gets out of the way. Benson, short jumper. No good. Parker with a rebound. Pritchard handles it. Brian Davis on him. He goes to Hardeman. Back out to Bryant. Back into Bruce underneath. Dumps it to Parker. Nice pass by Hardeman. Dunlap on the rebound. And he's fouled, and this is something, again, that uh, Dunlap has been doing, whether he scores or not, has been a good offensive rebounder, uh, gets positioned well under the basket, and he can pick up a lot of that garbage underneath. He'll be at the line to shoot a pair. If you're thinking of a new sun deck, a rec room, or some new carpet, stop in and see one of our loan officers th today. We're an equal housing lender. That's the first Robinson Savings and Loan. They're a federal association, member FDIC. They've stood the test of time since 1883. Well, Dunlap missed a second free throw. Uh, Parker got the rebound and traveled, trying to clear himself, make the pass underneath. Indians ball. Hammer out on the wing. Now Benson with it. Brian Davis look inside. Matt Moorhead drives. Good move to the nice basket. Got it in Matt there. 10-7. Indians lead it. Pritchard to Hardeman. Bruce got away with a walk. Underneath on the reverse and rebound Mark Dennison. Mark takes it down in a hurry being chased by Dunlap. The good bounce past him. Moorhead again. Big assist by Dennison and Matt puts it through. 12-7. End ends in front. Pritchard, now Bryant, directs traffic, gives to Matt Parker, goes to his left and he's fouled. Goes to his right. Right. <laughs> forgot. It changes when you look at it, doesn't it? Went to his right with his left hand. How's that? Anyways, good move. And foul he was whistle against Matt Moorhead, his first and the third team foul. The next time you need exhaust work done, see Gary at M&M Exhaust and Robinson. M&M Exhaust also does oil changes, brakes, air conditioning, and shocks. M&M Exhaust at 303 West Main in Robinson. Call them at 546-5593. Parker, a pretty good foul shooter, hangs around that 80% mark on the year. Got them both there. That may be a big point part in tonight's ball game. Both teams have had some problems with foul shooting down the stretch. Lawrenceville especially has uh, lost a couple of ball games in which they could have won because of that uh, weakness at the end and not being able to put them away. Hammer with it. Davis and Benson inside the hammer. Ryan to turn around. Won't go. Matt Moorhead goes in. Let's see how it's called. Going against Matt Moorhead, I'm sure. Yes, he's second. And the fourth team foul. Aaron tries in the ball game for the Maroons. He's the one who will be throwing it inbounds. Gets it to Corey Pritchard. Full court pressure. They try to trap Bryant. The good job in trouble. Gets it to Shry. Now across the line to Pritchard. Back to Bryant. Into Parker. Matt fakes. Puts it up. Won't go. Rebound. Moorhead. Davis with it out front. Now Benson. Ryan had an ocean. Moorhead drives the baseline, backs out of there now, and gives it out to Benson. 
Good defense from Matt Parker. Used his feet well, slid over and cut off the baseline. Davis with it out front. They look the situation over. Hammer now will hold it. Robinson, man-to-man -man defense. There's the shot. A big three. three. Ryan Hammer. 15-9. Lawrenceville leads. There are there. Three. Try pulls a rebound up. Maroons maintain control. Dunlap again. He's got, he that, got that one. Cody's going to warm it up. 15 12, three point ball game. Indians out in front. 2.25 to go here in the first quarter. Got a whistle and a foul on Ryan Bryant. His second and the second team foul. Good luck to the Robinson Maroons basketball team from the Kemper CPA group. It's tax filing season again, and Kemper CPA believes that in these times of complicated tax regulation, sound financial planning is the answer. Your Kemper CPA group financial planning experts will assist and prepare your tax returns and financial reports in a professional, timely manner. Put Kemper CPA group on your team. Matt Parge and Jason Goff check in for Lawrenceville, and uh, Bruce Hardeman check in, checks in for Robinson during that brief Hammer. timeout. Got the roll, Ryan Hammer. Big quarter for Ryan Hammer. Nine points. Got the clock screwed up here. They'll get back with the score. The numbers won't work. Should be 17-12. Uh, Bruce Hardiman on the turnaround. That's a tough shot. He's kind of down underneath behind the glass. Puts it through for the score, 17-14. Uh, Hammer. Foul, the shot won't go. That's going to be Aaron Tries, his first and the third team foul. We're going to have to check the scoreboard, Shaw. I don't think they're right. I have 17. Should be 17 14, shouldn't it? Um, yes. Hammer will be at the line. They have a little clock trouble, and they'll get it out. Hammer. We'll talk about the Robinson IGA Center that has a J.C. Penney's Catalog Center located inside their Robinson store. The Robinson IGA also has video rentals available. The first rental is only $249, and with each first run, uh, with each first run title rented, you get an older movie rental for free. That's at the Robinson IGA food store in Robinson, Robinson's only store that's open 24 hours. Do we agree with the clock now? Yes. Now it's 1814. They had it up 1714, but it was the wrong way there for just a second. <laughs> but they got it squared away here. Hammer missed the second one. Lawrenceville controls it, though. 1.45 to go here in the first quarter. Good first quarter, 18-14, Lawrenceville up. Mark Dennison. Inside to Dennison, bounced away and picked up by Corey Pritchard. Sornberger in the ball game. He handles it out front, goes down the corner to Dunlap. Pritchard. And Sornberger. Pritchard, he'll put it up. That's a two-pointer off the rim. Joe, nice rebound, gets it back to Hardeman. Shots missed. Pargin with a rebound, and Matt will take it down. It's a nice touch pass by Joe Sornberger. Golf, Pargin. Got a traveling call. And Matt Parker will come back in the ball game. Checks in for Cody Dunlap. A little different lineup here. Davis Tire and Auto Service in Lawrenceville offers a complete line of Kelly tires. See Davis Tire and Auto Service at 1300 Adams Street in Lawrenceville for a good deal on a great tire. That's Kelly Tires, America's oldest tire company. Hardeman from way outside comes up short. Here comes the Indians in a hurry. Hammer with it, and he pulls up. They may hold here, about 30 seconds. Ryan Hammer with the ball. Pargin and Gall on either side, and they're going to kill some time. 18-14 the score. The Indians lead it. And the Maroons are going to let them. Let the clock run down. That's Goff with it out front. 11 seconds. Time to do something. Pargin puts up a three and puts it through. Oh, what the heck. Down in a hurry, Matt Parker. Four seconds, he gets a shot up. Won't go. Rebound, golf, quarter in. 
21-14, Larksville Indians lead it by seven after one quarter of play. The restaurant at the American Legion in Robinson is open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights for dinner and Sundays for lunch. That's at the American Legion, E.M. Colter Post, 69 in Robinson. And good luck to the Maroons from the Robinson IGA branch of the First National Bank of Oblong. They're pleased to help bring this telecast. They're a member of FDIC and an equal housing lender. Clark and Jan Pulliam and the staff at Pulliam Funeral Homes wish the Maroons the very best in their 1995 basketball season. Good luck, Maroons, from the Pulliam Funeral Homes. And Wabash Cablevision down here in Lawrence County help present this telecast, and they're reminding you to watch the other events coming up in the future here on this channel in Lawrence County, a service of Wabash Cablevision. Let's see, we're about ready to go. It'll be Robinson Ball as we start the second quarter. If you've got any computer problems, and for the latest in multimedia products, including soundboard, CD-ROM drives, speakers, and software, see the, the friendly professional staff at Charlie Incorporated, CI Systems on the east side of the square in Robinson. Second quarter underway. Ryan Hammer was the big gun in the first quarter with 10 points. Dunlap. Here's Dunlap for three. Carmi tournament may be a turnaround for Cody. He's had a hard time from outside this year. He's had some good ball games, but uh, hasn't been very consistent. He's generally there to play pretty good defense for you. That's uh, Cody's important at that part and rebounding as we talked about earlier. Hammer inside to Dennison. Mark has it blocked by Parker, and we're going to get a foul call. This is a, a pretty good... Uh, coaching move, I think, on the part of Brian Stilwell. Uh, he's got Moorhead sitting on the bench, taking a little breather here early in the second quarter. Uh, they've moved Dennison inside. They got Matt Pargin in there. And uh, these guys can play with the big boys pretty well. Well, he's got a little bit of a lead to, to work with. Made the second one. There's a turnover. That's Jason Goff, a good drive, and puts it off the glass. Well, that stretches it out 24-17 now, a seven-point lead for the Indians. Good nice pass, pass by uh, Sornberger to Parker. They quickly score. We're back to a five-point ball game. Pargin with it out front. Now Goff, Cody Dunlap on him. Robinson in kind of a zone here. <coughs> Two, three. Now Lawrenceville content to work it around, kill some time. They lead it, they've got time. Inside to Dennison. Mark the turnaround, got away with it, nice shot. 26-19, in Dan. Pritchard. Now the Indians basically are kind of in that zone mm -hmm. also. They collapse There's inside. Knocked away by Hammer. Controlled by the Indians. Dennison down. Takes it all the way. Short. Got an offensive foul called on uh, Mark on Dennison. Dennison. That's his second person on the 15 foul. Who set? Was that Sorenberger? I don't I, know. I was watching Dennison, and I'm not sure who set up. They did a good job in getting position, and uh, there was no hesitation on the part of the call that time. 26-19. The Indians up by seven. There's exactly six minutes to go in the half. Robinson ball. Colin Ray in for the Indians now. Kurt Benson takes the seat. Get that pressure on uh, the Maroons. Lawrenceville's a good defensive ball club. Cody Dunlap for three. A little short. Dennison on the rebound. Here come the Indians. Ryan Hammer all the way. Got it. Nice left-handed shot. He went underneath that time with it. 28-19. Got the call. Um, it's going to be going to remain Maroon's ball.
Hardiman will bring it in. Sornberger. Corey Pritchard looks inside to Parker. Dumps it to Hardiman. Hardiman tries to go underneath. Gets it up and in, I tell you. He, uh, he makes room for himself. Yes, he does. Does a good job underneath. Hardiman's a tough man to guard. And he can pop out and shoot the three. Makes him hard to match up. Jason Goff. Little long. Sornberger with a rebound. Down court in a hurry. Two on one. Pritchard. Oh, he got, he got the, the bucket. And Colin Ray was trying to hang on him to keep him from making the shot. He knew he was going to have to give the foul. Pritchard got the roll. And Ray got the foul. Whoa, wait a minute. The foul was on the floor before the shot, so it's just out of bounds. So they didn't get anything out of that. Missed I the shot. Here the a break that time. I, that was a, I thought that was a shot. Ryan Hammer. Makes it look easy. 30-21, a nine-point lead for the Indians. Hammer with 14 points. <laughs> Almost half of the Lawrenceville output here in the first half. There's Pritchard for three. He's got it. Corey Pritchard. He can light him up from outside, too. So he cuts into that lead real quick, 30-24. It's a six-pointer lead now for the Indians. Colin Ray in the corner. Hammer. Pargin with it back out front. Inside to Dennison. Couldn't find a handle, and Parker comes out of there with it. Maroon's in a hurry. Tries to go to Hardeman, and uh, Dennison... Gets his foot on it. Substitutions and one of the most convenient services we offer at the First Robinson Savings Loan is a drive-up window. The next time you're in a hurry, use their drive-up. That's the First Robinson Savings Loan FA, member FDIC. We've stood the test of time since 1883. Moorhead and Davis back in for Lawrenceville. Bryant and uh, Brian Kane check in for Robinson. Bryant works the ball in against uh, Colin Ray. Loses it. Picked out of there. Moorhead's got it. And... The Indians have control with four minutes to go in the half. Lead it by six. Ryan Hammer. Almost an NBA three there. 33-24. Nine-point lead for the Indians. Marshall's uh, able to expand their lead with Matt Moorhead on the bench. Jeremy Treadway is getting ready to come in the ball game. Bryant on the drive, missed a shot, got his own rebound, puts it back up and in. Good hustle on Ryan Bryant. Down in a hurry, here come the Indians. Robinson a little slow in transition that time. Able to cut him off. Good pass, Hammer. Won't go. Rebound, Parker. Down in a hurry, Hardiman, one on one here. Oh, good move. Didn't get the shot, but he drew the foul. Going to get Matt Pargin is first and the team seventh, I think, for shooting bonus anyway. That was a shooting foul. The next time you need some exhaust work done, see Gary at M&M Exhaust and Robinson. M&M Exhaust also does oil changes, brakes, air conditioning, and shocks. That's M&M Exhaust at 303 West Main in Robinson, 546-5593. Hardiman. Got the first one. <laughs> Got them both. Bryant on the drive, lost the handle on it. Pargin wanted to get it down court and couldn't find the handle either. So they take it down, Moorhead inside. Oh, good move by Matt, missed it. Got his own rebound, put it back again with it, no good. Still fighting for it, ball's loose and the Maroons come out with it, Brian Kane. Bryant, offense, don't count it. That's Ryan Bryant's third foul. 
Well, win or lose, you've got a great reason to go to Hardy's when the competition's over, and the name of the game is beating a big appetite. Hardy's has the best lineup around with mouth-watering sandwiches like mushroom and Swiss, bacon and Swiss bacon cheeseburgers, and fried chicken. That's all at Hardy's in Robinson. Davis gets it to Treadway. Moorhead has it knocked loose. Robinson steal it. Two on one. Now Dunlap pulls it up. Quick defense by the Indian. Saved him a breakaway buck at that time. Brian Kane handles it out front for the Maroons. Colin Ray on him. Parker, look at him move inside. Has it knocked loose. A blocking foul is going to be called against Matt Moorhead. Not a popular call. That's number three on Matt Moorhead. Uh, well, he's going to have to take a seat here with 154 to go in the half. I've got him. For office supplies, office furniture, and professional printing, see Rego Printing Incorporated at 1727 12th Street in Lawrenceville. You can call Rego Printing at 943-6444 or their 800 number, 841-3148 for all your office needs. Regos have done professional printing since 1965. Here comes a hammer back in the ball game for Colin Roy. Davis Tire and Auto Service in Lawrenceville offers a complete line of Kelly tires. See Davis Tire and Auto Service at 1300 Adams in Lawrenceville for a good deal on a great tire. That's Kelly Tires, America's oldest tire company. Well, the Maroons have pulled it up within three. It's 33-30 now with about 145 to go here in the half. Indians, Brian Davis with it out front. Treadway drives a baseline, reverse, won't go. Parker with the rebound. Down in a hurry, Cody Dunlap by himself. Here comes Treadway, but Cody's got her through. Good, fast break by the Maroons. 33-32, and we got a timeout call by Brian Davis with 125 to go in the half. Don't forget that Rural King Supply is your winter weather headquarters for Carhartt insulated workwear plus service and lacrosse insulated boots. That's a Rural King Supply at Route 33 east of Robinson. Cheerleaders are going to go to work here. And then while they do that, I'm going to talk about Leaf Incorporated. One of the sponsors of the ball games. Leaf Incorporated, they're uh, proud to be a part of Crawford County, and they're pleased to support the students in the community in both counties and all the youth activities. That's Leaf Incorporated. They're located in Robinson. The Law Order of Moose, number 1369 in Robinson, also a sponsor of tonight's telecast. They support the youth of Crawford County and Lawrence County. That's the Loyal Order of the Moose, number 1369, located in Robinson. 33-32, a one-point ball game with 125 on the clock here in the first half, and it's going to be Lawrenceville Indian ball. Benson to Davis to Hammer. Maroon's changed their zone just a bit into a 3-2, it looks like. And the Indians throw it away. 108 on the clock. Maroons have it. They trail by one and a chance to jump into the lead here. They've not led any this first half. This could be a big turnaround, a big possession for the Maroons. Knocked away by Brian Davis and stolen. Heads up play. Brian off the glass. Got the roll. Brian Davis. Well, the Maroons never had a chance that time. 35-32. Last touch by the Maroons. It'll be Lawrenceville ball. They bring it back where they're going to go. Bill says, let's go to the side. Well, Bill was calling, uh, Evans was calling Maroon ball. The other official was calling Indian ball. They got together, and I guess from the coin toss, <laughs> Lawrenceville won. Hammer's going to throw it in anyway. We'll see who he throws it to. The last time it went to the wrong one. Under a minute and a half. Lawrenceville's got it. They can kill some time. They lead it by three. 
Aaron Shry in there for the Maroons. And again, that cross-court pass almost gets away. Treadway. They're working Kurt Benson underneath. He comes back out in the corner. Dennison now backs into the paint a little bit. And the Indians content to run some time down. About 25 seconds remaining. Davis will hold it. We're at 15. Okay, now Robinson goes in, I think, going into a man. They haven't they yet. They just extended their Z Hammer defense bit. for three, won't go. Dennison with the rebound, puts it back. Again, won't go. Rebound, Matt Parker. Let's see who gets the foul. Hammer. Ryan Hammer, his first. Two seconds on the clock. Chance for the Maroons to come back here. Matt Parker be shooting a one and one with 10 points in his bucket so far tonight. <laughs> Matt missed the shot. Rebound Lawrenceville, and that'll end the half. So the Indians at halftime will lead at 35-32. The Robinson IGA branch of the First National Bank of Oblong is proud to be in Crawford County, and they're pleased to help bring you this telecast. Enjoy the great hours and full-service banking at the Robinson IGA branch of the First National Bank of Oblong. They're a member of FDIC and an equal housing lender. Also, Clark and Jan Pulliam and the staff at Pulliam Funeral Home in Robinson wish the Maroons the very best in our 1995 basketball season. Good luck to the Maroons from the Pulliam Funeral Home in Robinson. We'd like to remind you that this telecast is made possible in part by Wabash Cablevision. And Wabash would like to remind you to watch other events coming up in the future here on this channel. Just another service of Wabash Cablevision. Crawford County State Bank is ready to handle all your banking needs. And if you need some financial advice regarding loans or trust accounts, they're there to help. The Crawford County State Bank is an equal housing lender and a member FDIC. Thirty-five, thirty-two. The score here at halftime. We'll be back with the totals and the second half shortly. Crawford Memorial Hospital would like to introduce Roger Reeves, MD. Dr. Reeves' specialty is in adult and pediatric urology. He attended the University School of Medicine and completed his degree in 1976. Dr. Reeves is certified by the American Board of Urologists and belongs to the Illinois State Urologic Society and the American Association of Clinical Urologists. Dr. Reeves is now accepting patients at CMH Consulting Clinic. Call them at 618-546-1234 at extension 2290. Crawford Memorial Hospital, working toward a healthier tomorrow. Totals for the first half. Robinson trailing uh, by three points, although they did uh, manage to close the gap a bit in the second quarter, outscoring Marsville 18 to 14. Have one player in double figures, Matt Parker with 10, three for Corey Pritchard, uh, nine for Cody Dunlap, eight for Bruce Hardeman, two for Ryan Bryant. They uh, had three three-point baskets for seven for nine in the free throw line and committed only five team fouls. Unfortunately, three of them went to Ryan Bryant. One each on Matt Parker and Aaron Schreib. The Indians have a lot of people in the scoring column, but Ryan Hammer's the big gun so far for both teams with 17 points. A real good first half for Ryan Hammer. Brian Davis with two, Jason Goff with two, Kurt Benson with two, 
Matt Pargy with three, Mark Dennison with three, and Matt Moorhead with six. Three three-point baskets, uh, two of those come from Ryan Hammer. Uh, two for four from the free throw line, uh, committed uh, nine fouls, three of those on Matt Moorhead, two on Mark Dennison, one each on Matt Pargin, Ray, or Colin Ray, Ryan Hammer, and Kurt Benson. 35-32 halftime score. Well, for office supplies, office furniture, and professional printing, see Rago Printing Incorporated at 1727 12th Street in Lawrenceville. You can call Rago Printing at 943-6444 or at 800-841-3148. For all your office needs, Rago's have done professional printing since 1965. And don't forget that Rural King Supply is your winter weather headquarters for Carhartt insulated workwear plus service and lacrosse insulated boots. That's Rural King Supply on Route 33 east of Robinson. Well, again, here uh, as we get ready to start the second half, I'd like to remind everybody that this uh, ball game is being telecast in both the Wabash Cable Vision area in Lawrence County and also through Triax Cable Vision in Crawford County. We hope you enjoy the coverage of the ball game. It's a dandy so far. Maybe, I, I don't know, I almost said a little bit surprising that uh, Lawrenceville's out in front. They're on their home court. Um, I think a lot of people came in here tonight thinking the Maroons might have a little bit of an edge on them. But uh, right now, they're on the short end of the stick, 35-32. Well, uh, the key may be Matt Moorhead, who's starting this third quarter with three fouls, uh, if he can get through this without the fourth one. Lawrenceville will have the ball as we start the second half. Brian Davis works it out front. Matt Dennison underneath to Benson. The turnaround won't go. Parker takes the rebound. Joe Sornberger in there, gets it down to Cody Dunlap. Cody, got it. Big bucket for Cody, 35-34, and that brings the Maroons to within one point. Davis works it out front, and now Benson in the corner. Kurt looks for help, gives it back to Davis. Now Dennison in to Moorhead, the turnaround against Parker. He's got it. Matt Moorhead, 37-34. Timeout call quickly here by the Maroons with less than a minute played in the third quarter. Was there a reason? Uh, it was kind of a quick timeout, and I wondered, I was watching Joe down here, if something might have happened. I don't know. They... Uh have Brian Bryant on the bench with his three fouls and Joe Sunberger's in the lineup. Otherwise, it's the other four starters. And uh, I believe Indians have their original five in there too. Now's a great time to buy a new home or refinance your old home with a real estate loan from the first Robinson Savings Alone. They're an equal housing lender. And since 1883, the Robinson Savings Alone has stood the test of time. The, Robin the first Robinson Savings Alone, F.A. And the next time you need exhaust, exhaust work done, see Gary at M&M Exhaust in Robinson. M&M Exhaust does oil changes, brakes, air conditioning, and shocks. That's M&M Exhaust at 303 West Main in Robinson, 546-5593. Maroons in a hurry. Sornberger puts up the short one, a little short. Moorhead with a rebound. And the Indians will take it down. Still 37-34, Lawrenceville by three. Maroon's back out in a man-to-man -man defense after playing the zone most of the second quarter. Moorhead on the breakaway, good move. Nice pass. Little back door. And the Indians stretch it to a five-point lead. Maroon's get it across the line, no problem. Cody for three. Little short, Moorhead with a rebound. Dennison brings it across. Ryan Hammer looks inside, drives against Dunlap, takes it all the way. Ryan Hammer. I thought he was going to pull up with about a 12-footer, but he kept right on going. 41-34, seven-point lead for the Indians. Bounce pass into Parker, stolen by Kurt Benson. Indians with it, down in a hurry. Hammer, drive, short jumper, there you go, Shaw, puts it right through. Ryan Hammer, big bucket, a nine-point spread, and the Maroons call another timeout. They've used two timeouts here in about the first three minutes of the quarter. 43-34, Lawrenceville Indians. This is probably a preview of something we're going to see a little later on. I think uh, 
Weren't they rated uh, seeded one and two in the coming regional later on this winter? Yeah, they so were. So if everything works out, then uh, theoretically yeah. they should play for the championship. However, uh, Oblong and a few others may have something to say about that. We went through the same thoughts last year. <laughs> uh, Robinson and Larsville have matched up well the last couple of years, both with, uh, with good ball clubs. Well, the Kemper CPA group says good luck to the Robinson Maroons. It's tax filing season again, and the Kemper CPA group believes that in these times of complicated tax regulations, sound financial planning is the answer. Your Kemper CPA group financial planning experts will assist and prepare your tax returns and financial reports in a professional, timely manner. Put Kemper CPA group on your team. Well, Maroons will have it Aaron Shry in the ball game. He'll bring it in for Robinson. Let's see. Well, the clock stop, that gives the Indians an opportunity to put a little pressure on with their press. Pritchard, and they try to set the trap for it. shry has got it back to Pritchard. Haven't got it across yet. Now they made it. Shry into the corner. Dunlap, he'll go for three. Cody missed the shot. Davis, here come the Indians Hammer in a hurry. all by himself. Ryan Hammer. Bang, bang, 11-point lead for the Indians, 45-34. Six quick points for Ryan Hammer this quarter in 23 total. Look at Lawrenceville play defense. Nice bounce pass to Parker. And uh, Benson got caught with a foul underneath. They'll save the basket. That's Benson's second personal and first team foul against Lawrenceville in this half. Foul's on the floor, so it'll just be out of bounds. That's sort of no harm done. Try will bring it in. And they switch. He'd like to bring it in to Hardeman. Gets it in finally. Bruce on the turnaround. Can't get the roll. Parker with a rebound. Puts it back. Matt Parker. 45-37. 12, 12 points for Parker. And then so far have pretty well controlled the scoring. Robinson's climbed back in a couple of times to within a point, and Lawrenceville spreads it out. Good nice pass, pass. pass for, uh, Kurt Benson on the shot. Good pass from Hammer. Thornberger has it stolen, then loses it to the end ends. Hammer with a good move, gets it down. Oh, nice, nice pass. pass again. Nice, no look pass. Davis Ryan gets Hammer. the basket and the foul. Hammer's having a night. Boy, I'll say. Heck of a pass. Davis went for the bucket. He got the roll. He'll go to the line to complete a three-point chance here. 49-37, the Indians up by 12, and it may be 13. That foul was called against Aaron Shry, his second and the first team foul for Robinson. Got it. Three point play, 50-37. Brian Kane in the ball game. Pritchard works it out front. Hardeman in the corner back to Pritchard. And the Indians staying in that zone now. They're really packing it in, too. They bring Parker outside. With Dunlap Kane. on the bench, they're just daring him to shoot from outside now. Shry tries to go to Parker. Good pass, stolen, knocked away by Benson and picked off by Dennison. Good defense by the Indians. There's Mark Dennison, works it inside, kicks it back out to Hammer. Don't give him any room. Good motion offense there. Everybody moving for the Indians. Moorhead getting mugged a little bit. Nice pass to Brian Davis. Cut to the basket. Moorhead later right there. The Indians are really going after the ball now. It's 52-36. Thornberger, or that Kane with it. Got it back out to Pritchard, almost got a traveling call. Hardeman. Bounce pass stolen away by Hammer. Ryan, bounce pass to Moorhead. A little low, couldn't, yeah. couldn't quite pick it up. Have problem with a bounce pass to a big man. 52-36, the end ends. I've taken control here in the third quarter. We're having a big third quarter. Well, the Robinson IGA Food Center is proud to have a J.C. Penney catalog center located inside their Robinson store. The Robinson IGA also has video rentals available. 
The first rental is only $249, and with the first run title rented, you can get an older movie rental for free. That's at the Robinson IGA Food Center in Robinson. Robinson's only store that's open 24 hours. Maroons will try to bring it down. Pressure, trap, trying with it. Pritchard still haven't got it across. Now they make it to Kane. Maroons got Dunlap back in the game. Maybe uh, the Indians will have to pull their zone out a bit. Try, 10-footer. Won't go. Rebound. Hammer again. Under three minutes in the third quarter. Lawrenceville leads it 52-36. Coach Stillwell took uh, Matt Moorhead out during that timeout, too. Had him having a good quarter and uh, did not commit any more fouls. Lawrenceville will run some time off the clock. They've got a 16-point lead. And they don't care. Let the clock run down. Well, let them stall enough. I can get some commercials in. 2.30 to go in the third quarter, and Ryan Hammer says, come get it if you want it. Jason Goff in the ball game. He's got it now. Mark Dennison. Robinson shows a little bit of pressure now. Or to Pargin. Back to Goff and around to Hammer. We're down to closing down on two minutes to go in the third quarter. They just play catch with it inside. Benson kicks it back out. Hammer for three. Ryan has got it. When you're hot, you're hot. Ryan Hammer for three. 55-36, the biggest lead of the night. And uh, Benson's going to be called for the foul against Cody Dunlap. A little frustration show on there. His third and uh, only the second team foul against the Indians. It's a 19-point lead for the Indians. We've got less than two minutes to go in the third quarter. They have really come out hot here in the third quarter. Robinson a little slow getting it across. Doesn't laugh with it now, finally. Robinson with only two field goals in this quarter. This is kind of like the cold streak they hit down at Har right. with Harrisburg the other night. Corey Pritchard won't go. Rebound. Nobody underneath there. And the Indians pull it off. Goff runs it down and hammer with it out front. Mark Dennison lost the handle. He was uh, <laughs> he was too wide open. Yeah. Dropped the ball. The restaurant at American Legion in Robin is, Robinson is open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights for dinner. And Sundays for lunch. That's the American Legion, EM Polar Post 69 in Robinson. Jeremy Treadway in for the Indians. Bruce Harlan checks in for uh, Robinson. And uh, looks like Joe Sornberger as well. Davis Tire and Auto Service in Lawrenceville offers a complete line of Kelly tires. See Davis Tire and Auto Service at 1300 Adams Street in Lawrenceville for a good deal, good deal on a great tire. Kelly Tires, America's oldest tire company. Hardeman tries to dump it to Parker, does. does. They get the bucket and they have the foul. Well, they need it all. Foul called against Ryan Hammer, his second. Matt Parker at the line to complete a three-point play. Bryant comes in the ball game for the Maroons. Boy, it's been all Indians here in the third quarter. Robinson needs to get something going in a hurry. Matt at the line. There's one. That uh, brings it 55-39, 16-point lead. Jason Goff brings it across and gives to Jeremy Treadway. Now Hammer with it. Sornberger on him. Golf and Pargin. Parker comes out to meet him. Oh, got a holding call against Jason Golf. He didn't like it. Doing a little pushing and shoving there. Unusual call. Less than a minute to go in the third quarter. From the Robinson IGA branch of the First National Bank of Oblong, good luck. And they're pleased to help bring tonight's telecast. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Thornberger looks to Bryant. Bryant will take three. He's got it, Ryan Bryant. Hey, that's a big bucket. They need to get something going. 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. The Indians have got it. Dennison with it. Good screen by Hammer. Dennison got away with a travel, I believe. Hammer went for three, and he missed that one. That's unusual. Bryant controls the rebound. Lawrenceville will drop back and let him bring it down. We're at about 15 seconds to go in the quarter. Mm -hmm. 
Hardeman, good pass to Parker. Good pass to Parker, and Matt puts it in. Well, 11 points. Into the quarter. It's 55-44. Lawrenceville Indians own an 11-point lead. Clark and Jan Pulliam and the staff at Pulliam Funeral Homes wish the Maroons the very best in their 95 basketball season. Good luck to the Maroons from the Pulliam Funeral Homes. Tonight's telecast is made possible in part by Wabash Cablevision. They'd like to remind you to watch other events coming up in the future on this channel. This is just another service of Wabash Cablevision. And special pricing on computer systems, printers, and multimedia kits from Charlie Incorporated CI Systems. Charlie Incorporated CI Systems located on the east side of the square in Robinson. Give them a call, 546-5442. That's Charlie Incorporated. 55-44, we're ready to go into the final stanza. That's been a heck of a ball game, too. Ryan Hammer checking in with the fourth quarter with 26 points. <laughs> what as Moorhead's foul situation? He still has three. Still three. He got yeah. through that quarter without they any. They set him out about the last two minutes of the third quarter. And uh, didn't hurt their lead any. Well, it'll be in or, uh, Maroon's ball as we start the fourth quarter. So they need to capitalize here real quick. Brian will handle it. Indians outscored uh, Robinson 20 to 12 in that third quarter. Dunlap to Parker. Inside to, to Hardeman. Good move. Missed the shot. Got his own rebound. Put it back. Uh -oh. Got the ball slapped, and there's Moorhead's foul. Well, it probably looked like a foul from that official who was actually well in front of the play, but Moorhead was behind him, and uh, I thought he got all ball, but I didn't blow the whistle. Well, that's a quick foul on Matt, and that's four, and he's yeah. going to sit down for a while. At 7.47, uh, he takes nope, a seat. Nope, nope, they nope, uh, switched. They uh, golf's going to go out, and Brinson come in. Matt thought he was going two. He had to turn around and come back. Two shots for Bruce Hardeman. Got one. Now's the time to do it. Ten-point ball game. Bruce can cut it to single digits here. And he does. Nine-point game now. Maroons not out of it by a long stretch here. Davis works it. Both teams capable of running off some points, and Robinson sure capable of doing it. Hammer out on the wing, gets it underneath the Moorhead. Out to uh, Dennison. Dennison drives the baseline. Got room. Puts it up. Didn't get the roll. Gets Got his own rebound. rebound put it up. Good move and a good work underneath by Dennison on it to get his own rebound. Put it back. 57-46. 11 points again for the Indians. Dunlap's got it. Cody's going to shoot it. Little short. Gets his own rebound. Fight for it. Got a foul called. Who's it going to go on? I think he finally pointed at Dunlap. Must have. It'll be yeah. Indian's ball. That's only his first and only the second team foul called against Robinson in this half. That may be a big, uh, big point here. Hammer with it. Now Dennison outside. The Indians run some time off. Moorhead, short jumper. Got it. Matt Moorhead. Good move to the inside. They put it through. It's 59-46. And the Maroons lose the ball. Give it back to the Indians. If your car didn't start this morning or it left you stuck on the highway, we've got a perfect mechanical solution. We make auto loans. Since 1883, we've stood the test of time. That's the first Robinson Savings and Loan FA. Kurt Benson on the pass from Brian Davis. And a foul quickly on Benson. That's the fourth foul on Benson. It's 61-46. We've got 6-16 on the clock left in the ballgame. 16 foul, so Maroons will be shooting bonus from now on. And they were 7 for 9 in the first half. Hardeman brings it in to Dunlap. Full court pressure by the Indians. They're going to make the Maroons work for it. 
Pritchard. Dunlap and Bryant now out front with the ball. Looks like the Indians are pretty well in a man-to-man -man situation now. Oh, good pass. Little long, little long. Hardeman and uh, Parker working together real well. Bruce dropped the pass. They're just a little long. Out of bounds, and the Indians have it. Hammer looks inside. Davis now. And Benson. Davis, oh, inside. <laughs> Good move. Gets his own rebound. Oh, Gets nice. it to Hammer. That's knowing where you are on the floor. <laughs> and and he stole it. And turned Ryan Bryant got it right back. <laughs> and again. Well, let's let's play catch. Hammer's going to get the basket and the foul. I can't describe it. You had to see it. Tune in, folks. <laughs> foul went against Ryan Bryant. His fourth, I think. <laughs> And we've got a timeout. Charge to Robinson. 65-46 with a little over five minutes to go in the ball game. I would have never believed we'd have seen a spread like this any time tonight. Almost three minutes into this fourth quarter, and uh, Robinson only has two free throws to show for it. Next time you need exhaust work done, see Gary at M&M Exhaust and Robinson. M&M Exhaust also does oil changes, brakes, air conditioning, and shocks. That's Eminem Exhaust at 303 West Main and Robinson at 546-5593. Win or lose, you've got a great reason to go to Hardy's when the competition's over and the name of the game is beating a big appetite. Hardy's has the best lineup around with mouth-watering sandwiches like chicken filet, roast beef, fisherman's uh, filet, and Hardy's famous big deluxe. That's at Hardy's in Robinson. And this portion of the ball game is brought to you in part by Leaf Incorporated, the Robinson plant where they manufacture Heath, Milk Duds, Sixlets, and Whoppers candy. That's Leaf Incorporated in Robinson. Ryan Hammer with those two quick baskets that you couldn't uh, describe now has 30 points. <laughs> and well, going, for, going for 31 right here. <clears throat> well, the Maroons have got to be a little frustrated. I. They just have not been able to do what they wanted to do and give credit to the end end defense. Hammer missed a shot. Robinson comes off with it. Joe Sornberger down with it in a hurry. Good pass to Parker. Puts it up. Scores. 65 48. Five minutes to go in the ballgame. A lot of work to be done by the Maroons here. Got a man open. Hammer. That's the wrong man to have open. 67-48. Hammer's having a career here tonight. Dennison on defense, and he kicks it out of bounds. Maroons will keep it. Coming into the ball game. Uh, let's see. Sornberger sits down. Number 12, I don't have him on the program. Oh, Jurassic. Uh, Chris for the Maroons. No, I don't think so. Don't, that's not 12. Oh, mark it out, okay. Not in the book, um, not on our roster here, okay. Pritchard with it. Pass into Hardeman. Bruce, turnaround, got the bounce. 67-50, 17-point ball game here. The Indians will lead it. They've done no wrong here tonight. Benson back out to Davis. Yeah, I knew Brian Davis was quick, but he's done some things tonight that just, just amazed me. I didn't have any idea he was that Oh, nice throw on Matt Moorhead. Took those four fouls of his in the right in the basket. 69-50. 19 point spread again. That's the biggest that the Indians have had, and they've had that one twice at 19 now. Hardeman, and he scores. 69 52. 340 to go in the ballgame. Indians get it down to hurry. Three on one situation. There's more heads. Well, they break the press, set the offense, they run it to perfection. 
and they get the basket. Dunlap for three. Cody's got it. 71-55. Kurt Benson to Moorhead. Matt bounce pass, tries to go underneath the hammer, and it's picked out of there by the Maroons. Good defensive work. That's not Curry, is it? Chris Hurry? No, it's not his number, but... Apologize for not having uh, the Maroon number 12 down on our roster. And we ought to know. Kane comes back in the ball game. Indians ball. We're under three minutes to go at 71.55 Indians. Oh, Jeremy Whip, of course. Of course. Now we'll be able to give him some credit. Try and Hardiman into the game. Kane and Dunlap will take a seat. So that'll leave Whip, Pritchard, Hardiman, Shry, and Parker on the floor for the Maroons. Colin Ray in the game. Hammers got the ball. Jason Goff with it. Got a foul called on Pritchard. Not much choice at this point. The Maroons are going to have to do some fouling, try to stop the clock, get the ball back. We're at 2.40 to go, and the Maroons trail it by 16 points. Still got a couple of fouls to give. That was only the fourth team foul. Fifth, fifth foul. Check that. Colin Ray whip, guarding him as close as he can. Try slaps around a little bit, gets the foul called. Third foul on Shry, 16 foul. Still Indians ball out of bounds. Matt Pargin getting ready to check back in the game. Colin Ray's got it. Whip working on him. Finally got foul called. 225 on the clock. Okay, it'll be uh, Colin Ray at the line for one and one. The loyal order of Moose, number 1369 in Robinson, a sponsor of tonight's ball game, and they support the youth of Crawford and Lawrence County. That's the loyal order of the Moose, number 1369 in Robinson. Parker goes high for the rebound. The Maroons, a lot of points to cover here. Cody Dunlap puts it up. Can't get it now. Cody's got it back. Into Hardiman. Hardiman in a crowd. Gets the score. 71-57. Pargin to Ray. Passes it across the line to Goff. Larsville's got control and quickly... <laughs> Golf is surrounded and fouled. The Robinson IGA branch of the First National Bank of Oblong, proud to be in Crawford County and pleased to help bring tonight's ball game. Enjoy the great hours and full service banking at the Robinson IGA branch of the First National Bank in Oblong, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Jason Golf at the line to shoot some free throws. Maroons bring it down. We're under two minutes. Got to shoot the ball, boys. Corey Pritchard. Doesn't get the roll. Rebound. Fought for. Still loose. Matt Parker. Good pass to Hardiman. Tries to get it up. Gets it knocked loose. And Moorhead comes out with it. End dance. Hanging right in there. 71-57. 14 point lead for the end dance. Bounce pass to Hammer. Dumps it off to Goff. Jason off the glass. 
120 to go in the game. Pritchard to Dunlap. Cody, an NBA, won't almost get the roll. I thought he was going to get it. Hammer will bring it down. Hammer will hold the ball. We're right at a minute to go in the ball game. The end ends have pretty well got her sealed up. 73-57 the score. They played a heck of a ball game. Davis Tire and Auto Service in Lawrenceville offers a complete line of Kelly tires. See Davis Tire and Auto Service at 1300 Adams Street in Lawrenceville for a good deal on a great tire. It's Kelly Tires, America's oldest tire company. And Clark and Jan Pulliam and the staff of Pulliam Funeral Homes wish the teams the very best in their 1995 basketball season. Good luck to the Maroons from the Pulliam Funeral Homes. Hammer missed the shot. Under a minute to go. Whip brings the ball down. He puts it up. A little long. Rebound. Moorhead fouled by Hardeman. Well, don't forget the Real King Supply is your winter weather headquarters for Carhartt insulated workwear plus service and lacrosse insulated boots. That's at Real King Supply on Route 33 east of Robinson. Well, we've enjoyed bringing you the ball game tonight, Lawrenceville Indians, Robinson Maroon, and the fact that it's going to be shown in both the areas, both the school areas, uh, Crawford County and Lawrence County. It makes it tough, though, believe me, when we have, we have done several Robinson games. We've seen Lawrenceville several times this year. It's hard to, it makes it tough to do a ball game like this because you hate to see either team lose. Lawrenceville has just really played well tonight. Robinson can play a lot better than they're doing. And I think you're going to see some different things out of these teams when they get into the regional. Both teams capable of scoring a lot of points here. Now this is the best uh, output we've seen from Lawrenceville this year yes, in the four or five games that we've done. Yes, it is. Lawrenceville has really come around and played a tough ball game. They've scored well. And that's something that uh, they played well at the end of the ball game. You know, they've had some spurts early uh, in first half and, and played good three quarters and then just die at the end of a ball game. Uh, they have really carried her down to the wire tonight, made their free throws and played very well. Ryan Hammer leaves the floor with 32 points. One, two, three, three point baskets, three three point baskets. Well, he's done it all. He's had some great assists. He's been underneath on rebounds. He's played good defense. And he has been the offense for the Indians. He's only one for four from the free throw line. <laughs> He's going to have to work on that. <laughs> Matt Pargin, the line. He's got 77-59 now. The Indians under control. Cody Dunlap. Well, there's three for Cody. Now we got a foul. 25 seconds left in the game. The Crawford County State Bank is ready to handle all your banking needs. If you need some financial advice regarding loans or trust accounts, they're here to help. The Crawford County State Bank is an equal housing lender and a member of the FDIC. You know, I'd like to thank the sponsors that have helped uh, bring the, the ball games and made the ball games possible. And one thing we can't say too much about, and that is the cooperation between both the Cablevision companies that carry these ball games. Wabash Cablevision down here in Lawrence County and Triax Cablevision up in Crawford County. Uh, it's through their efforts that makes these ball games possible. Jeremy Treadway stole the ball. It's killed the clock. He's fouled. There's 19 seconds left in the game. A 78-62 lead for the Lawrenceville Indians. Dunlap just fouled out with 19 points. Four three-point baskets. One for two from the free throw line. One thing I was intended to mention earlier, uh, with the Maroons down at Carmi in that round robin tournament, through the week, both Matt Parker and Bruce Hardeman made the all tourney team. Uh, that was that was a good tournament down at Carmi because there's some excellent ball clubs involved in that. If you look at Harrisburg, El Dorado, Fairfield, Mount Carmel. Uh, some really good high school talent down there, and that's that's some real competition when you go to Carmine. Yeah. 
Jeremy Treadway at the line. Missed the shot. Parker with a rebound. Clock ticking down. Jeremy Whip. He'll put up the three. Tried to <laughs> bank it. Parker got the bucket. Under 10, 78-64. End ends. They just want to kill some time. Fouls called one second on the clock. Like to also compliment Wabash Cable Vision. You know, they've worked in the Vincennes Lawrenceville area in a money raising scheme. I shouldn't say scheme, in a money raising effort, and have raised $3,500 for the area school districts. It was in a recent uh, U plus cable equal money for our schools promotion. Wabash Cable Vision then donated the school, uh, to the schools uh, in the Lawrenceville Vincennes area. And in the Lawrenceville area, Lawrenceville High School received $500 and Red Hill received $225. And that's through the efforts of Wabash Cablevision down here. Well, ball game's over. A 78-64 score, a 14-point lead for the Lawrenceville Indians. I would not have predicted that any way, shape, or form. A close ball game within a couple of points, I'd have said, yeah, probably. But for Lawrenceville to absolutely take control like they did tonight, I, I wouldn't have believed it. They have really came out and played some excellent ball. One of the sponsors tonight is...